Namaskar, dear Vice Principal Sir, Principal Sir, teachers, brother, sister, and my dear friends. I'm here to give a story about the Eldrin's canopy. Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and whispering forests, there lived a solitary old oak tree named Eldrin. Eldrin stood tall and wise, his garnet branches reaching towards the heavens, adorned with emerald leaves and danced with the wind's melody. Throughout the changing seasons, Eldrin watched over the village, witnessing the joys and sorrows of the inhabitants. Children would play beneath his boughs, and their laughter of echoing through the air like the sweetness of melodies. Whispering promise of uh, forever amidst the rustle of leaves, one crisp autumn morning as golden leaves carving in the ground, a wearing traveler stumbled upon the village. His name was Aiden, and his heart carried the weight of thousand brothers. Underneath Eldrin's branches, Eden found solace day by day. He shared his tales with the wise old tree. Speaking of distant land, forgetting dreams, Eldrin listened with quiet understanding, offering silent companionship to the wearing wanderer as the season changed and winter with chill descended upon the village. Eden found warmth in Eldrin's presence. Time flowed like gentle river and soon spring tender embrace painted the world in use of green and gold. The solitary old oak tree stood all once more, his branches reaching towards the heaven, a silent branches reaching toward the heavens, a silent garden and his wandering souls in the embrace of Eldrin. The moral of the story is in the embrace of nature and wisdom of world, even the weirdest of soul can find solace. Thank you. Quite odd. 
by looking and reading. They were not able to read correctly also. We want to focus on those impromptu speech. They must cover the stage and mass. So for that, they have to look here and there. So it was found they were just looking this side and not covering the masses. You can bring main points only, but while giving a speech, look at the mass and give it. Okay? Attention. Standardies. Attention. Standardies. So today is 17th of Mag, right? Yes or no? Yes. All right. And today, we are going to honor the smart students of the month post 2018. I have got the list of seven students here from grade four to grade 10. So, smart student of month post. Grade four. What do you think? Who is the smart student? So smart student, please come from this side. Eh? Come from this side, okay? None other than Susmi Timal Sina. Congratulations. So I'd like to request principal sir and then David chairman to put the uh, garland and bat. Okay, class four, please come. Class five. Rohit Thakur. <laughs> Class 6, Pawan Kumar Yadav. <laughs> Class 7, Manjil Ale. <laughs> Class 8, Arina Gubaju. <laughs> okay, so these are the smart students. They are very happy. Now class 9 and class 10 left. Class 9, what do you think? Sarnia Demrel. Give her a big round of applause. Smart students, post 2080. And class 10. Do you have any idea? Okay. Great 10. None other than Lakshmi Kumari. Smart student. Post 2018. Congratulations. So on Saraswati Puja, we will honor the students Mag 2018. Let's see who can prove themselves as the smart students. So very great achievements. So very nice to see the students with garlands and badges. Attention! Cover up. Hands up. Hands up. Clap together. Together. More louder. Why? Why are they very passive? Come on. This is a kind of exercise. It helps in blood circulation and it makes you more energetic. And side. Hands down. Sternity. Attention. Sternity. Attention. Mark sign. 